on Fox Business, um, <coughs> don't let the Chiron fool you. Santos says he's not a criminal after expose. Um, sh look at this. Socialists, or sorry, slap warns of socialist grip on U.S. if GOP doesn't adapt to early voting. Now, where in the world? Um, so stupid. Who talked Republicans out of voting early? And who's currently still fucking doing it? Carrie Lake is literally over there on, on uh, you know, like pushing the shit on Bannon show, watched by a lot more of the like primary faithful in the Republican Party than, than what's happening on fucking Fox Business. But he has Matt Schlapp on. Let's see if Matt Schlapp in three minutes can make the case. Uh, let's bring in Matt Schlapp now. To yeah, it's a mistake, but I understand you have talk to. Talk about it. Uh, ah! uh, okay, Matt. Who on earth in their right mind in this day and age where everything can be checked would kind of fudge the old resume there? Should Santos... Oh, he's talking about Santos. Resign? What are your thoughts? Of course not. No, he should... It, lying is as American as uh, apple, uh, apple sausage. Oops. Well, you know, we have precedent for this. We have Elizabeth Warren is in the United States Senate. She yeah, but she didn't lie about any of her credentials. And she wasn't lying about uh, her Native American heritage. It was just smaller than her family had said. Um, she also didn't change her name in the process to hide the fact that she was tied to a Ponzi scheme like Santos did. She famously embellished yeah. uh, her background of being a Native American. We have Joe. Uh-huh. Um, <laughs> does Did she say she was a proud American Jew um, when she full on knew she was not? Joe Biden, who ran for president in 1988 and famously embellished the fact and lost and learned his lesson. Maybe Santos should have lost and learned his lesson. Tell you what, if he wants to come back in 20 years and run again, awesome. That he got a scholarship to go to law school and he finished at the top of his class and got awards and all that turned out to be untrue and he had to quit the presidential race. Right. Yeah. Cleaned up his mess, learned his lesson. It's a it, that that's how life works. He, imagine if he'd have just been rewarded with the seat. Perhaps you're making an argument for why Santos should not be seated right now. Because he lied about his resume. So lying about your resume is wrong. It was wrong of George Santos to do that. I do. But he should keep his seat, you know, and and, and uh, he shouldn't have to drop out at all like Biden did. I think it was smart of him to at least acknowledge the fact that he was, uh, that he had these lies that he'd put. <laughs> oh, you mean after the expose? I think it was smart for him to acknowledge the truth that he could not escape. Put out there on the campaign trail, but here's the real question, Ashley. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. What's the real question? In a, in a republic like ours, who gets to make the choice? Is it the voters who just sent him to Congress with something like an eight percentage point victory? Some yeah, I mean, at a certain point, if they want to vote for a liar, they vote for a liar. That's, I mean, that's a... That's America. I, I mean, how is Trump going to run again and slaps one of his biggest supporters if people can't vote for somebody they know is completely and blazingly full of shit? Some of this was swirling in his campaign. You. His Democratic opponent isn't questioning the outcome of the result. Or do the, the, the smart set in D.C. and Congress get to override the will of the voters? It seems uh, or again, these are the same people, by the way who want you to believe that 17% of Biden voters, if they'd have known about the Hunter Biden laptop, which I don't know how the fuck they wouldn't have, um, they would not have voted for Biden. And that that was rigging the election. How, it, but for scale, how the fuck is this different then by that standard? Do you think do you think his constituents or the people who, who are voting for him, if, if they'd have known how much he had lied, they might want to change their mind? Again, this didn't come out during the primary, so the, he was able to make it through the general, unlike Biden back in the 80s. Seems to me that people that believe in democracy should say, look, we elect all kinds of people to Congress. The voters decide he'll be up. And if, you, if we stop, if we can't elect absolute liars, there'll never be another Republican representing this district ever again. For re-election again in two years, or the voters can recall him. But that's the real question. Do the voters... 
Right. And that's where it is. Or the voters can recall him. That's where it's going to gain ground because there's enough Zimmerman voters who will be able to sign a petition to recall this asshole. And it's embarrassing for the entire district. Just decide or the people in Congress decide. It's, this, what a shitty argument. He, he didn't even want to be there to meet it, like to, to make this argument. It, it's like, um, yeah. Do we have, can we talk about something else? All right. We'll move on from that, Matt. Yeah. Thank God. I want to get into this issue because I find it interesting. Republican leaders urging their base to be less skeptical of early and mail-in voting after... Yeah, after some asshole said that it's not trustworthy. Their, well, losses during the midterms. You know, Matt, yeah. they relied heavily on in-person voting. And you could argue and it backfired. Do you th yeah, you could. I think this is a good strategy. More emphasis... It's not a strategy. It's a panic attack. Is on early voting. You know, Ashley, I've done a lot of work in elections. So has my wife, Mercy. And uh huh. The fact is, is this: the yeah. Democrat Party is wired to succeed better when you ballot harvest and essentially vote for other people. Because you mean vote for Democrats? Yeah, that's what they tend to do. You know, you know, Democrats tend to vote for Democrats. Republicans just don't like that. They think it's immoral. They don't like that piece. But mm. we but we've done lots of immoral things. And so we should embrace this immorality. I mean, we just got Santos in and he probably had some early votes. We got to follow these laws, even in blue states, to the hilt. And we have to do what they do. So we shouldn't be. In <laughs> OK, by the way, the the Democrats don't ballot harvest. They're they're going to take this as let's go ballot harvest. They're also going to run into this thing where, uh, you know, Trump made them believe that people were voting twice. So his supporters were voting twice. They were committing felonies. Encouraging people to vote early because look what happened in Arizona. If you wait till Election Day always to vote, when you have 30 percent of the machines down in Maricopa County, a lot of thousands of people in Arizona couldn't vote. So no, not at all true. They all voted. Their votes just weren't tabulated from that machine right there. They all fucking voted. That is just a blatant, provable, and ridiculous lie. I don't know why the fuck they think they can get away with it. <clears throat> now, if Carrie Lake supporters said the tabulating machine is working and I'm not going to put it in that slot and they walk the fuck off because they're paranoid assholes, that's their fault and her fault. But they voted. They voted by going, I'm not doing this. That in and of itself is a vote. What if they made that decision at home? Is it is it the Democratic voters' responsibility? Nobody in those situations was denied their vote. All of them were counted. Tabulation machines affected Republicans and Democrats alike. Not everybody in that line was voting for fucking Kerry Lake. There was no way to isolate that out. And even in, in the counties where it leans Republican, there were small lines and people got right through. There, there is literally no material evidence, and this is why her case got thrown out, that the line affected one side more than the other in, in these highly populated areas. And their votes absolutely got counted. Uh, this happens when you wait till election day. Sometimes things come up like travel or something else that you... Okay, that's not anybody else's fault. Like travel. Travel comes up. It just comes up. Can't control. So early. Yeah, you can't control travel. Sometimes those you know planes have sky hooks on them and you're just out mowing the lawn. And you're like, I'm going to go vote later and snatch off you go. Voting, there's a need for it. And Republicans need to have uh, programs for ballot harvesting, for early voting, for everything the Democrats are doing. Or Which are legal or Match Lap is telling Republicans to break the law. Right? Right? Isn't Matt Schlapp telling them to break the law? If, if what the Democrats are doing isn't legal, then he, he's just saying we just need to break the law too. Even if the Democrats aren't in fact doing it. Or here's the problem, Ashley. The Republican Party, uh, if it doesn't adapt, can it win at, at the national level? And if it can't... No, it can't. Not only because they have a stupid get out the vote I don't even call it a strategy. I don't think it exists as a strategy. But their candidates fucking suck. DeSantis is a dweeb. 
He's going to lose. Trump's own supporters are going to attack DeSantis. It's going to be hilarious. Start popping the popcorn now. We can't win. We're going to see this country in the grips of socialism for. Oh my God. The grips of socialism. And what he means by socialism is, I guess, roads and bridges and military spending and whatever the fuck. It's not socialism. What an asshole. Ever and ever. So I'm willing to do forever and ever. Because once socialism gets a grip on a country that never gives it up, don't pay any attention to Russia right now. Do whatever it takes to get as many people to vote against socialism as possible. Will Democrats do that? They vote for democratic taxation policies. Asshole. And, and again, what do you mean vote against socialism? You mean social security? That almost cost, that bullshit almost cost Mike Lee his fucking seat. Right. Right, totally. Right. I mean, sure. Why not? Fight fire with fire as they say. That's a stupid idea. Fight fire with water, or in some cases, sand. You pour dirt on it. That helps as well, especially if it's a grease fire. Say, Matt Schlapp, thank you so much, Matt, for joining us uh, this morning. We do appreciate Yeah, he's, he's glad to be here. I'm glad he's there. Oh, God.